Hi, everyone. It is an honor to be here. And when I was asked by Diane if I could come out today, um, I have to be honest, in the fall, Sundays are really, really busy. And, and when I heard the reason, I was like, I'm, I'm absolutely blocking out um, this afternoon because um, Rabbi Baisley is somebody I have the deepest respect for. And um, over the last decade, a lot of the work that we've, we've uh, felt empowered to do as a Christian faith community has felt really empowered because it's been a shared initiative of Christians and Jews and Muslims and Hindus and everyone else working together. And your openness to that interfaith reality has, has been an essential part of, of my life and my journey. So. Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I'll make of you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And the one who curses you, I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Genesis 12, 1-3. I love Ancha Emeth Memorial Temple. I love it because it seems to me, as I look in from the outside, it's the kind of community where a covenantal relationship with the Almighty is established, and it's remembered, and where it then flourishes. Firstly, a covenantal relationship between God and God's people should be a crucible for flourishing. It's not automatic. Just because you're in a marriage covenant, that doesn't mean marriage automatically leads to flourishing. It takes work. And dear friends, it seems that good work goes on here in this community. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That's one of my favorite lists of the fruits of the Spirit found in the New Testament text, and I absolutely see those fruits of the Spirit on display in Ancha Emmet Memorial Temple. As a local pastor who also happens to be a father of, of three high school, now college children, ones in college, who have lots of friends who have grown up or are growing up at Ancha Emmet currently, I have listened intently as their friends and their friends' parents have shared the joy they feel in being part of this temple and going through their bar and bat mitzvahs and the whole process of feeling loved and heard and growing together with a rabbi. Rabbi Baisley, while it takes the entire temple family to create enough streams and tributaries to water the roots of each tree that's growing here, it takes leadership in teaching, preaching, and most importantly, pastoral care and approachability for a community to grow in love like this. And for a decade you've offered that here and you've influenced the people around you to become more and more caring in the way that they create community internal to the Ancha Emmet family. And I take notice and I learn from that as I hear other people talk about their connections with you. But if that were where the work of the temple ended, it would not be enough. For even though God created Ancha Emmet Memorial Temple exactly for the purpose of building up the covenantal people of God who are led by God to make this their home, God's home is bigger than Ancha Emmet. God's home is the entire creation. And I love the motto on your website, Ancha Emeth, a Jewish community helping to build a better world. Or another way to say it, a Jewish community blessed so that all the families of the earth shall be blessed. If I remember right, I think I was invited to preach the sermon at your temple exactly 10 years ago. On the very, It was the very first service that Rob, Rabbi Baisley was serving here as associate rabbi. Um, I was as new to the space as you were that night. And we were at the Reformed Church of Highland Park at that time in the battles of trying to keep members of our church safe from deportation to Indonesia. And that invitation came from Rabbi Miller. And I was so grateful that the community here wanted to understand what another beloved part of God's family in central Jersey was facing. And by that point, many of your members had been staunch allies in that fight for justice. And as the new rabbi was introduced that night, I remember hoping that this spirit of communal engagement and interfaith commitment and local and global focus would continue. And tonight, or today, ten years later, I want to say that those hopes are immediately fulfilled, and I know that they will continue to be fulfilled. Rabbi Baisley, you've been a friend and colleague in the work of building a better world. Whether it's been in supporting refugees, whether it has been in supporting new efforts for affordable housing, whether it's been on issues of racial justice, whether it's been around addressing matters that are volatile locally, I've always known that you will be there and that you'll be level-headed, more level-headed than I am sometimes, 
and that you'll speak for your people in a way that communicates that Ancha Emeth is committed to being a Jewish community helping to build a better world. And I have a hope this year, as your colleague in ministry, I hope to spend more time getting to know the rack. And, and I don't mean the Rutgers Athletic Center. <laughs> Though the women's and men's basketball teams are supposed to be really good. I want to know more about the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism. You have, frankly, been more faithful in joining the causes that I lead than I've been in joining in your causes. There's been times and reasons for that that can change. I'd like to commit this year especially to joining RAC in the efforts around voter registration and other things that you've taken the time to make a, a moral, uh, you've shown your moral leadership on, on issues in and through the RAC. I think that it's a beautiful way that you as a rabbi and leader of this community are helping to build a better world. Finally, I learned this week as I was doing a little reading about our two communities that Ancha Emmett Memorial Temple and the Reformed Church of Highland Park were both built by the same architect. Alexander Merchant's first design was the church that my wife and I have pastored for these past 21 years. And 40 years after he finished RCHP, Ancha Emmett was designed. And maybe that's why your building is a little cooler than ours. He <laughs> had 40 years to yeah, protect, protect his craft. But to be honest, the real architect of both of our communities is the one who also built this beautiful place out here and this entire world. The real architect of our communities is the one who created the stars in the sky and the sands on the shore. And that architect is the one who told us that the offspring of the children of God would be numbered like the untold numbers of stars in the galaxy and like the grains of sand on those seashores. And that architect has blessed Ancha Emmett Memorial Temple with a phenomenal understudy over this past decade, an understudy of God named Rabbi Baisley, bringing the presence of God in an ever fuller way into a world that's created love and ever in need of stewardship by God's people. So thank you, Rabbi Baisley, for being who you are and for leading a community that's beautiful in the sight of God, blessed to be a blessing and living into that bold identity.